a public display of unity, despite their private pain. At the home where Becky Watts lived, close relatives came to remember her. The schoolgirl's grandparents, joined by her aunts and uncles, 24 hours after police found body parts two miles away. It was the most undignified end to a beautiful life full of promise. As her family, it's hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel, but we know it is there, and the support from family, friends, and the nation will help us find that light. Becky, who was said to be a shy and sensitive teenager, was missing for nearly two weeks. Tonight, her stepbrother, Nathan Matthews, on the left here, has been charged with murder, and his girlfriend, Shauna Hoare, on the right, has been charged with attempting to pervert the course of justice. Seen here at a fancy dress party, he is 28 and she's 21. About 100 yards from the couple's home, forensic teams are still searching Barton Court in central Bristol. It was at a property here that Becky's remains were found. Five more people are still being questioned tonight on suspicion of assisting an offender. Here, too, tributes to Becky have been mounting, from friends who knew her and from local people shocked by what they've heard. Emotional, very emotional. It's very sad how a little girl's gone like that. It's just heartbreaking, it moves a lot of us, really, thinking that we've all got young children that age as well. It's a horrendous crime against somebody who, is, who had her life ahead of her. Well, tomorrow morning, Nathan Matthews and Shauna Hoare are due to appear together before magistrates here. And as the legal process gets underway, Becky Watts' family can begin to think about a funeral. John Kay, BBC News, Bristol.